and today I've got no idea, obviously. And um, today I just wanted to show you um, what I've been playing around with. I plugged my pedal board into the front of the amp. The HX stomp is in the loop of the amp, running like a, a delay reverb thing. And then out of the amp, I'm going via a Capsu stereo GFI Capsu stereo into my audio interface, um, which is what you will hear in some of the demos that I've put up. While I'm talking, uh, you're just hearing the, the audio in the room. Um, but I've been doing the same stuff that I was doing before where... where I'm controlling the, the wet-dry mix with an expression pedal. other buttons on the front that can do stuff so HX stomp so I can do this kind of thing. on and how I'm putting that together um, but if you want to try the preset it'll be in my normal bundle which you can get in the description uh, it's not crazy money it's like three quid for all of my stuff uh, if you're interested in that but that's uh, what I wanted to show you today because I'm finding it quite inspiring but this is designed to basically go in the loop of an amp or straight in front of an amp uh, will also sound fine um, you may have to adjust the split so that you get more dry or more wet um, that may come down to preference but the goal of these kind of presets was to or this patch in particular this style of patch was to make it okay that I sold my uh, Strymon Volante and that I don't have any other posh kind of delays or reverbs in the house um, but I think um, this is kind of for me a similar kind of vibe and I can really enjoy it so I'll do a demo now and then I'll come back and I'll just show you roughly what I've got going on here
basic idea of this patch is that you have a split right at the start, which is an AB split, which you can control with the expression pedal. Uh, so for that, you go to so you create a split at the start, and if you're holding this button, um, you can set your expression pedal to control the parameter, um, and basically that will control wet and dry mix. And then on the bottom parallel path, which you bring back in at the end, you can basically put in reverbs, delays, choruses, all that kind of stuff. And um, I've put that octave pitch in there, so when I turn on the octave, it's after a reverb, but before the delay and final reverb. Um, so that kind of has a sound. Um, and I think I've got the mix on that set at 50%. Um, I've just ruined that, clearly. And then for the, the feedback on the delay, I've got an Adriatic delay at the end. And if you see the feedback parameter, if you hold in here, you can set uh, your foot switches to control that. So I've set foot switch 2, and I've got it set to a latching type. And then go across, you can set your minimum and your maximum value. So my minimum value, my usual value is 50, my max is 100. And I set it to 100 because then when you've got this button pressed down, um, if you hold it in for long enough and continue to sustain a note, you basically get into this swell of feedback. Um, so that's something that I kind of like with the HX Stomp. Um, but that's basically the patch. So you can set up this kind of parallel big washy delay path, uh, delay and reverb, and uh, I think generally it sounds pretty decent. Um, and kind of in line with that kind of strum and stuff. Um, but you could also stick like tremolos and stuff on this, this line if you wanted to, or other kind of modulation. The basic template is there, I guess. So that's basically all I've got going on there. So to start off with, it's a, a cave reverb. It could be any reverb. And then a pitch. On the main line, I've got a plate reverb. And then I've got a Trinity chorus. Then an Adriatic delay, and then finally a Hall reverb. Um, that's basically all it was. This patch was basically inspired by Yeetzy guitar, um, but I've added kind of these additional little features to it, and um, you know it's designed just to go into basically an effects loop or in front of a real amp, and um, so you can use your HX Stomp as basically like a posh reverb pedal, posh delay pedal. Um, and get a little bit extra out of it if you don't have, uh, you know, like a Strymon line around or something. That's basically the gist of it. So hopefully that is sort of useful, sort of interesting. Um, if it was, could you like and subscribe? Um, and there's a buy me a coffee link if there's anything in there that you thought, yeah, I like that, or yeah, I'll try that. And you can also get the presets in um, the description if you want.